Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here. Today we are ringing in the new year. Well, not actually the calendar year. I realize it's still October, but today is Compassion Kickoff where Wit is unveiling our amazing Compassion Projects for 2019. So it's kind of like we're starting a new year. But before we get into all that, we have to look back. We have to celebrate what God has already done through our Compassion Projects in 2018. And that's what we're gonna do. So there's so much to be thankful for. Let's go. Our 2018 Compassion Offering has taken us all around the world, introducing people to the real Jesus. From Portland to India, from Zimbabwe to right here in Oklahoma, God has used us to bring resources and support into difficult situations of our world. This year, we supported the Bible Project. This amazing group of artists and theologians create videos to make the Bible more easily understood. We partnered with them to translate their primary videos into Hindi so that the 500 million people in the world who speak that language can be introduced to the Bible in a new way. We were really thankful for you guys, your church, coming alongside and having a heart for Hindi. You guys came and said, you know, how can we help? How can we be a part of what you guys are doing? We also supported our friends at Celebration Church in Zimbabwe. We purchased baptismals to install in prisons, giving prisoners hope and dignity as they walk in their new relationship with Christ. In India, through Changing Destiny, we funded construction for a home for girls that are victims of the sex trade. Almost 50% of the kids when they get here, they don't talk to anyone or they just cry for days on end because of the trauma they've been through or what they've seen. And then once they start singing and praying and you know doing Bible stories and going to schools, that's when they start blossoming and opening up. These precious girls will be forever changed because of your generosity. Part of our legacy as a church is to answer the call when disaster strikes. In the past, we've sent supplies to Puerto Rico and Houston. We've helped Central Church in Las Vegas as they cared for a hurting community. And this year was no different. When fires ravaged California on an unprecedented scale, because of you, we were able to send support. From all of us here in sunny Roseville, California, to all of you there, thank, thank you, you for your generosity. <laughs> Of course, one of our favorite projects from this last year is when we partnered with God Behind Bars. We launched two prison campuses, one at Dick Connor Correctional Center and another at the Dr. Eddie Warrior Correctional Center. We were able to bring church on the move into these facilities and speak into the lives of our incarcerated brothers and sisters. Lives are being changed and people are being introduced to the real Jesus and we're really just getting started. It's been an incredible year. We've given a lot, but we have gained so many new friends, so many new relationships, and we've helped a lot of people. And there's so many more projects than we had time to talk about today, but thank you. Thank you for the way that you've answered the call, the way that you've prayed, the way that you've given. It's just remarkable. And the cool thing is this is just the beginning. We can hardly wait to share how God wants to use us in 2019. It's happening. Together, we are introducing people to the real Jesus. 